Hey there, buddy. Can you stand and join me in listening to Canada? All right, welcome to New Day at School. Today, it is our last Thursday together. It is Thursday, June 23rd. Hope you're doing really well. All right, let's start off by wishing a happy birthday to Sarah in grade four. Hope you have an amazing day, Sarah. Uh, today on the calendar, apparently it is National Pink Day, which I believe is a celebration of the color pink. On our Rutherford calendar, though, we've got our grade six farewell. We are really looking forward to honoring and uh, paying tribute to our grade sixes for their amazing work throughout elementary. So we've got the gym all set up for our farewell ceremony this afternoon. It starts at one o'clock. All of our students are, uh, are going to be attending either in person or virtually. So our two grade five, six classes will be in person and everybody else. We have a Google link that is available for you on our Google staff calendar so your classes can join in. Just a little heads up that there uh, there's some possible technology challenges, particularly within the school, as we are projecting some video during the farewell. So this is a message for teachers. Uh, if you do have trouble with lagging video, that video link has already been sent to you individually. So you're welcome to leave the meet and watch the video and then rejoin the meet. Uh, coming up tomorrow, of course, sport day, fingers crossed for some good weather. Looking forward to uh, to getting outside and getting some exercise with you folks and, uh, and lots of fun. So there we go. Uh, today, the individual that we are highlighting for Indigenous History Month is Serene Fox. She is Anishinaabe. She is from Batchwana First Nation, which is just outside of uh, Sault Ste. Marie in Ontario. She is passionate about empowering Indigenous communities and amplifying their voices, especially those of young people. And she's an artist and activist who comes from a long line of storytellers. Her interests and work take all kinds of different forms uh, as a dancer, a choreographer, a writer, speaker, and as a media personality, TV host, and content producer. She is a brand ambassador who works with Manitoba Mucklucks, Canada Goose, Sephora, and Nike. And she works uh, each campaign as an opportunity to highlight her culture and share the stage with other Indigenous talents. So there you go, Serene Fox. All right, let's go for talent show. Today we are witnessing the talents of Charlie in room 12. Here he is.
stacking Charlie. Really cool. Alrighty, in our fun fact for today, uh, I think this is, I'm seeing a tie-in. So Mrs. Notdorf populates this, she chooses our fun fact, and she highlights the calendar event. It's Pink Day, and today our fun fact is about flamingos. So I see what you're doing there, Mrs. Notdorf. Okay, flamingos really are what they eat. Many plants produce natural red, yellow, or orange pigments called carotenoids. Carotenoids give carrots their orange color and turn ripe tomatoes red, but they're also found in the microscopic algae that brine shrimp e eat. As a flamingo dines on algae and brine shrimp, its body metabolizes the pigments, turning its feathers pink. That is cool. Very cool. All right, Rutherford weather forecast. Uh, mm, it's not great. It's not great, friends. Uh, 17 degrees. We have a chance of thunder showers this morning. Chance of thunder showers this afternoon. Uh, but maybe we'll get all of that out, and it'll be fantastic for tomorrow. So there we go. Okay, friends, that's all I've got for you today. Don't forget to demonstrate respect, responsibility, safety, and pride. Don't forget to have a great day at school.